Cheers. Cheers, Eric. All right, cheers. Hey, everybody, this is Eric. Thanks for coming to another Right Now. Eric is a member of our fulfillment team. And uh, yeah, thanks for sitting down with me today. Yeah, no problem. It'd be fun. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You want to tell everybody kind of like what you do here, where you come from? I uh, work in fulfillment. Um, well, started here almost three years ago. And I pack with a ridiculous amount of care. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Love it, man. So you got some, you got some stuff here. I see you brought I some, do. some of your own goodies. Yes. Um, you're into a little bit of ink mixing, so we can talk I, about I, that. Yeah, yeah. I uh, mix <clears throat> different inks just for the fun of it. Half of them um, come out really bad, <laughs> and another ones come out pretty. Okay. The ones I have in these two pens, um, I do just for fun. Like I said, um, this is a house divided. Oh, okay. House Divided mixed with Dragon's Napalm and a little bit of Whiteness of the Whale. Wow, that is psychedelic And looking. it is really acid looking, just like <laughs> It looks like it's like solid yeah, inside the pen. Uh, not particularly. Does it flow all right? Like, does it write? Well, I was hoping it would do black light stuff, uh -huh. like neon or whatever, but it really okay. doesn't, as you no. see. It, it just doesn't change much. It's like a little, it looks kind of orange, it's a little coral. It's extra fine nib. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's okay. really junky up right there, so. Okay. See. All right, so you're experimenting here. I, you know? I like to play around, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I like this one better. Okay, what you got in there? All right. This one is, well, first off, we got these when we were moving on up. These are uh, Nimasan pens. That's right. And yeah, it was like a little commemorative item yeah, we did there really, on the team. Yeah, I ended up really loving this pen. Yeah, so I use it a lot when I play around. This is an emerald of Shavor, nice uh, mixed with um, more of the whiteness of the whale. Okay, just to kind of give it a different tone, just tones it down a little bit. Not a lot, but interesting. Like a, okay, how much whiteness of the whale do you have in there? Um, maybe a quarter. Okay. Maybe a quarter of the Yeah, you're right. Cartridge. Didn't, didn't turn it on all too much. Yeah, it really didn't. But okay. if you put a black light on it, it's supposed to be like all bright and everything. So how'd you get into ink mixing? It was an accident. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was a <laughs> You like forget to clean out your pen and you're like, oh, uh, let's I didn't mix it. really forget. I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> and, I, and I just nice. went with it and I ended up mixing like um, some blue with a... Uh, a violet and got something that was neat and I was got like, oh, I'll crazy keep trying time. this and then I found out about the whiteness of the whale and I was like, mm -hmm. all right, I'll buy that. So I nice. fell into that. Do you have a, a couple of favorite inks so, that you like to mix? Um, Not really. I mean, I just kind of, whatever I have on my desk, if okay. I have samples or whatever, I just kind of, oh, this will look good and I'll try it. And all right. They either do or they don't. And nice. So, but usually if I'm just writing normally, I use my Heart of Darkness. Okay. And that's a good standby. Favorite pen. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Rembrandt. Pen. Yeah. Awesome. I got Aries on it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Special order there. Yeah. yeah right. Mm -hmm. Can you even see that? Anymore? I'm gonna try. We'll get in there. Try. Want it like that? Shiny yeah. black is like the worst to try to capture on video. Oh yeah. Got it. All right. Nice. There's that. Awesome. And that's what I usually use when I'm just kind of scribbling normal stuff. Very Not cool. Playing or trying to mess my hands up. Okay. So how do you, I'm, I'm always curious, you know, because we get questions like, hey, if my if my job isn't to write, if I'm not like a, an artist or, a, you know, an author or something like that, like, how do I use my pen? So you've got like a pretty physical job. You're not like writing with pens yeah, all day. No, I don't write often, but when I do, I use a Rembrandt. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you got good um, taste, my friend. <laughs> so what I do is, because is, I do enjoy the action of writing, and mm -hmm. I, I find it very meditative. Um, okay. But what I do is... If I go through my day and I find like a quote or somebody says something, I'm like, oh, that is really cool. Mm. I'll remember it. I'll go home. I'll break out my pen. I'll put it in this book along mm -hmm. with like whatever I want. This book is going to my son. Mm. He's 10 right now. So one day he'll have it. It's going to have little antidotes in it and little things that I found throughout my day or day-to-day nice. -day life. And I put them in there. That's so really I cool. I sit down and I just write little thoughts or quotes. And that's it. That's really cool, man. Yeah. It's that's fun. really cool. I had uh, I had aspired to do something like that for my kids when they were born, and I kept kept up with it for like two weeks. Yeah. And then and it was like six months later I wrote something, and I haven't written in like but five years. That's fine. You, know, you could do five years. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay. I, I, I would say that's pretty much an abandoned like project good, yeah. at this point. You know. No, no, that you aspirations. Can pick it up. You know, it's, exactly. It's one of those things you don't. I don't do it at all the time. I don't do it all the time at all. Do you I, carry uh, it with you, like everywhere? No. Or? no, no. It sits okay. At home, and if I okay. get a weekend, I'll forget a weekend. Um, okay. I don't do it, like I said, all the time. It's just it hits me. I'll grab it. I'll That's it. cool. I gotta respect that because sometimes I'll have a goal to do something like that, mm -hmm. and then if like. 
if I don't do it every day or I break rhythm right. at some point, I kind of like just oh, fall no. off the rails altogether. Nah, you just, if it hits you, you do it. You don't, you don't. Don't that's cool. Up. I like that kind of laid back it'll approach fill up eventually. Yeah, it'll fill up eventually. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Um, you're also a, a motorcyclist. I am. Or a motorcycle, motorcycle rider. Enthusiast, what do you call it? I guess. Enthusiast. Okay. okay. So we got to talk um, about motorcycles a little bit because we haven't talked about that here yet yeah. right now. Yeah. So, so what, do, what do you got? I know you got a bike, right? I do. I have What's a Honda Shadow. It's nice. a little cruiser. I like cool. the old style looking bikes. So. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. How do you how'd you settle on that? Um... How to settle on it? Yeah, just, you know, there's a lot of different types of bikes out there. Well, it's a 750, and I didn't want a, anything less than that to start. Okay. Because the ones that I trained on, I think they're like 250 or whatever. And, okay. You know, it's just not enough. Little dirt bikes, you know. Yeah, <laughs> not great, so. Exactly. 750, uh, it was a price point I could work with, and okay. it was good for me to start. Nice. So. Okay. Have you got, so like, a was. dream bike? Um, I want a Harley-Davidson soft tail. Okay. Like, pretty bad. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's you and like half the country probably, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's my size. I'm only like 5'8". So. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I gotcha, gotta I gotcha. Down, but... You don't want some boss hoss 502 or something no, like I'm that, you know? <laughs> That was, the, that was a motorcycle right there. I had that well, locked in. I don't know much about motorcycles, uh, uh, uh. but I do know about that one. <laughs> I went to a car show one time and I saw one of those in oh, person. That's a, it's basically a V8 engine on yeah. wheels, yeah, which is insane. Oh it's insane. Yeah, it's, it's, it's huge. Not, yeah. And it probably doesn't sound like anything. Well, it's a Harley, so yeah, it does. No yeah, yeah. Like so <laughs> exactly. Scratch that. Exactly. But yeah, um, motorcycles is something I've always liked as I was growing up and I uh -huh. just never really got into one. Yeah. You know, never got that ability to get into it and then uh, I finally did. Because you got that fairly recently, right? Yeah, like, I got it last summer. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's not like you're like, you know, from your, your wild and crazy had, earlier days. Right, yeah. I had <laughs> Christmas tree ornaments, you know, bikes and all that stuff. And okay. I have a bike, so you explain that to people. Nice, it's nice. Like, well, what are you doing? Right. <laughs> so. Maybe a little midlife crisis in there, you know, who knows? You it's know, all good. Sometimes you it's just all good. gotta go with it, yeah. <laughs> That's so, good, man. Whatever keeps you going, right? Very cool. What else you got in here? You got, um, any, you got some uh, other pins kind of like ones I don't away? use, really. Oh, okay. Um, oh, well, I'm actually more curious ones you don't use. Okay. okay. Well, got a couple of in here. I have these from the different events that we did. Okay. Uh, well, this one came from, I think it was just on sale. Mm-hmm. And I bought that. Uh, okay. This was in a, in a, like a, a dumpster type thing. I don't even know what. Oh wow, a brush like, pen! Yeah. Holy cow! I might use that is it old. one day. <laughs> okay. And it was just That's fair. There, so Somebody's gonna it. want that. Somebody's gonna be yeah. jealous. So there They're it like, is. you're not even using it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Perks of working um, here, I guess. Yeah. And then I see a mountain what, of the what world pen there. Is that? Mountains. Of, this That's one a Noodler's a Conrad. 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 Conrad brush pen. This is the Mountains of the World Fuji. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I. When I first started working here, I guess it was like two weeks into it. Okay. I was like, I really like that pin because I was pulling it. I was yeah, like yeah, all yeah. excited and it was like, ah, I like that pin. We'll try it. Yeah, I really don't like that pin. <laughs> I, I'm not a real big Early fan. Early enthusiasm but, into the hobby. But, you know, it's shaped different now. Mm hmm So I think that's cool. Exactly. So I like it for that reason. I mean, it's got a little mint going on. I think that's pretty. It is an interesting color pattern. Yeah, yeah for sure. A little piece of pen history there. Yeah. And you got a dark lilac Lamy. I got to talk about that in there because oh. that's like, that's going for like a hundred bucks or more on eBay now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like super Andy hot demand. <laughs> <laughs> Andy did finally get one. I think yeah, what yeah, Colin yeah. hooked you up, right? She almost got yeah. that one, but she was like, yeah. no, I got one. I was like, all right, cool. Nice. Because I, I don't use Lamy. It's not that I don't okay. like them. It's just they don't work with my hands. It's so. not, not your preference. Yeah, it's not a real good feel for me. That's, so that's, that's fair. Like that. That's a fair assessment. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, man. Well, thanks so much for coming on. No problem. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Thanks for uh, getting get yeah. to meet uh, more members of the team here. Yeah. Um, thanks, everybody, and I hope you have a great rest of the day. All right. Right on. Right on.